Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mohammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can mount the S3 bucket in Docker container. Uh, one thing I need to tell you or the prerequisite uh, of this video is um, very much uh, important for you guys to know that uh, Docker storage or Docker container is not persistent. So which uh, means that uh, there is no ETCFS tab. If your container reboots, that mount is going to be gone. So uh, please keep that in mind. So let's begin. Although it is uh, possible to mount the S3 bucket uh, in Docker container, I'm going to show you in this video. So uh, what we are going to do, uh, simply I'm going to create one bucket here and I'm going to call this uh, cloud geeks CA bucket or cloud geeks.ca. So I'm going to enable versioning. dot ca i'm going to enable the versioning and going to click create so uh, this is going to create a uh, cloud geeks uh, dot ca bucket in my us east one region so what i'm going to do uh, first of all i need to tell you that uh, these uh, are the two repositories where i put the code i will provide you the link uh, you have to simply uh, click one of the link and you will get it. So if you click on AWS, you can navigate to AWS. Uh, this is the directory where I put the code S3 Docker mount. So uh, what I'm going to do simply, uh, I'm going to open private uh, Docker and I'm going to pull this uh, public repository there. So why I'm using that, uh, I can use the EC2 instance and all of the stuff. So uh, as this is the demo and I'm going to simply destroy the lab as well. So I'm going to simply uh, take a shell in that particular lab and I will show you what you have to do. I'm going to zoom in a bit for you guys. Okay, Git is already installed here. I'm going to simply git clone and I'm going to uh, simply clone this repository. I should select the HTTPS instead of SSH because I'm not going to provide the keys here and get clone. So it is going to pull that particular repository quickly because uh, of the very high throughput there. And I'm going to cd into that AWS. From here, uh, you should go to, let me just see the directory, this is S3 dash, okay. So S3 dash. So simply I'm going to update my mount shell and uh, show you what you have to do. So I'm going to update uh, mount shell script. 
and I'm going to update my bucket name. So this is the Cloud Geeks. CloudGeeks.ca and update your access keys and secret access keys there. So I'm going to provide my access keys and secret access key. Okay, I'm going to put my secret access key here and I'm going to save this. Okay, that's all you need to do. And uh, that's it. So what I'm going to do is simply, uh, I'm going to uh, call this and Docker build and I'm not going to give a lot of details regarding the Docker file. Uh, we are going to use the uh, S3 uh, FS queues, uh, which I've already shown you in my previous video. But I'm going to show you in this video that how you can mount the S3 bucket in Docker container. So I'm going to say Docker build a tag, call this Cloud Geeks uh, SCA. Okay, uh, this is going to be the image name and I'm going to simply build it. So uh, this is going to use the Ubuntu 16.04 and um, it is going to install the relevant package uh, in that particular Ubuntu image, uh, which is from the official private repository and uh, do rest of the stuff. Uh, So as far as the other files are concerned, you don't uh, need to simply, I mean, you don't need to update those. Let me show you that. Uh, those are the password files. So leave as it is, uh, no issue with that. So that's fine. Simply update your access keys and secret access key, provide the bucket name, build it, and um, then I'm going to show you in the Docker Compose YAML. So um, simply you have to do the Docker Compose up. You can use the Docker run command as well. Uh, it is up to you, but I have uh, provided the Docker Compose YAML file here. So you have to use that. As I already show you, uh, told you that uh, it's not going to be persistent. So um, we are going to do uh, Docker exec into that particular container or we can run the command uh, to mount the bucket uh, in that particular container from the outside as well. I'm going to show you both ways. So let it install. Uh, it is actually uh, pulling the relevant package uh, with regard to the S3 FS views. Um, as I've uh, created a uh, lot of videos with regard to the S3 mount. So. It is pretty much the same. The only difference uh, I'm showing you guys here that um, the mounting is going to be in a single tiny container. So we are almost done. Okay, if I do Docker images, you will see that uh, this particular image is set up. I'm going to simply copy this. Okay, if I do ls here, and I'm going to update my Docker Compose YAML file, and I'm going to simply um, provide this name. So I'm going to update this. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to 
save it. If I do Docker compose, I'm, uh, just need to do that by default. Docker compose is also installed on this lab, so we don't have to do all that much here. So Docker compose up hyphen D, and that is it. If I do Docker ps hyphen A, so you see our um, container is running. So if I do Docker exec interactive shell into into this um, S3. And the bash shell, you'll see the script is going to be available for you guys. And uh, this is the mount shell. So, um, one thing I forget to tell you that um, if I do ch mod plus x, uh, you will get permission to guy, uh, denied because we are uh, not running this container as root. So um, what I'm going to do um, uh, is to show you guys that uh, you should uh, first uh, make this script executable and then run it. Uh, I mean, then run the bit. So uh, what I'm going to do simply uh, exit out this uh, from container. I'm going to exit from this container and I'm going to simply do Docker compose down. So it is going to be down in a uh, few seconds. Okay, now if I do ls here, I'm going to do chmod plus x and I'm going to simply uh, make this executable. Okay, so uh, we have just built it and what we are going to do, uh, simply run that particular command again. So it is not going to be uh, take too much long because it is going to fetch all the uh, detail from the cache and I'm going to simply uh, run this build again. So you see uh, it has done. Uh, if I do uh, docker compose up again you will see uh, this executable script is going to be available. Although if you run this container as root uh, which is also possible and uh, you then do uh, ch mod and plus x but for the you know security concern it is recommended that you should not run your container as root so if i do docker ps hyphen you see our container is um, is uh, up and running so I'm going to do docker exec into that particular uh, machine or I'm going to run uh, the command from the outside as well. So this is the container. So I know um, at home um, s3 uh, mount dot sh is now available. I'm going to run this. So okay. So if I do docker exec Okay, uh, I should not use the interactive with that. With the previous command, okay, let me show you that as well. So this is the command. Uh, you should only use the Docker exec. So there is no need to be directive and then we are going to exec into that particular uh, container so docker exec interactive shell into this uh, particular container okay and i'm going to say bash so if i do ls here you see uh, mount sh is there and if i do disk free hd you see uh, 256 db is available in our S3 uh, in our Docker container, which means that S3 is mounted. So uh, in this particular container. So if I do a CD into this cloud, it's CA not CA. If I do LS here, and I'm going to create uh, 
on directory main directory um, cloud geeks okay so you see uh, this directory I've just created and if I navigate to my S3 bucket uh, you see uh, this is the bucket in fact I'm going to simply um, navigate to this bucket and you see this directory is available and I'm going to create um, let's say one directory here as well uh, okay if I do if I do ls here you will see that uh, awesome going to be available and if I make dir Kassim so you will see all that particular stuff is going to be available if I simply refresh it you see we are able to um, navigate you know I mean able to access all that stuff so um, one thing as i told you in the start of the video that this is not uh, docker container is not a persistent way and that's why um, edcfs tab is going to be you know um, helpful in a way that you should not uh, if uh, i mean you should mount uh, uh, in etcfs tab to make sure that everything is going to be available after the reboot so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to simply show you um, the restart of this S3, S3 Docker mount. Okay. So once it's restarted, I'm going to uh, simply exec into that particular container and we will see that um, there is a uh, unmounting of directory if I do um, basically as an HT although you see then the directory it is created by the script but you do um, I mean do this free of an HT command you see this is unmounted so uh, this is uh, very important to uh, know that uh, if the container reboots in case your uh, data is not going to be lost but the mount is going to be unavailable and because this is not the persistent storage and even you make entry in etcfs tab in this particular Ubuntu although it is available it is not going to work so I'm going to show you etcfs tab as well so if you make uh, if you uh, run this container as root and make ETCFS tab entry in that particular ETCFS tab, uh, it's not going to work. So if, if I run the same uh, script again, okay, and if I do this create an HT, so you see our uh, 256 TB is back, you now we are able to do this stuff. So that is very important. Uh, the requirement uh, of this uh, making of this video is that a uh, lot of requests you know coming from you guys that uh, how we can mount a directory in docker container so this is the way you can do that uh, it is pretty much simple uh, but these are the consideration you have to keep in mind that uh, you should go for the persistent uh, uh, you know storage like uh, if you make uh, Entry in ETCFS tab in your actual EC2 instance machine or your local machine, whatever it should not be in the container. And even you make entry in the container, it is not going to work. So that is it from my side. If uh, you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.